Hey y'all, it's me, the Glam Queen, and I am back with another video. So this is going to be the Mac haul portion of this video. So without further ado, we're going to just go ahead and jump right into it. So basically, I just wanted to pick up Mac items that I never have tried before that are basically holy grail, old, and just to see... You know, are they really worth the hype? And even still now, because like I said, these products are old. I don't have a lot of MAC products. I had a lot of lip products that I've given away over the years, but I didn't have a lot of just general products. So I just got me some items that, you know, I just really want to try. So first things first, <laughs> who hasn't used the Studio Fix fluid? Who hasn't? So this is what it looks like and I'm in color NC50. Next I got the Pro Longwear Concealer in NC45. Um, I love this color. Now this has been a product that I've used over the years and it has never did me wrong. I always keep one of those because you know it just it really is good to me. I wish I would have got probably like the Pro Longwear Foundation and I might actually get that and because I need to get one more item from MAC. But um, this foundation is a really, really good match. I will say that I, I absolutely love the match to it, but I just don't know how I feel about this. Oftentimes when I wear this, I feel like I have to blot because I have been wearing it. Um, I wore it about three times just to see do I like it. So, I don't know. That's that's my only con. But we'll see. I'm going to continue to play with it because y'all know my skin is a mess right now. It's, it's, it's dry combination. So, yeah. Next thing is, um, it's a blush, but you can use it to contour, which I use it for. And that is Blunt. And I used it today. And I really, really do like that. So, I did get two lip products. And I'm wearing one right now. And I love this gloss. Like, this gloss is obviously bare. It looks just like this. And this is a swatch of it. So, it's on my lips right now. I like this. And it, when you look at it, you're like, girl, I don't know about that. But I, I like it. And this is pretty too. And this is in Oh Baby. So, and it, even though it shows up like this copper gold color, look how pretty it is. So, imagine that on top of a nude um, lipstick. Like, that's bomb. Brown liner. Yes. So, I did get a pump to go with my foundation because... I like stuff that has a pump. It's just easier. So I've been using it, and but I've been waiting to do this haul. So now I can finally bust this bad boy open and put the pump on it. I did get two brushes. Now I do have about, I have two MAC brushes already, which, it, which are the 266. So I have two of these. This is my favorite brush. I probably will get me another one when I go pick up these other two items. So that's number three. This is what I use to do my concealer. So I have one right here on me and one in my kit. So yeah, I got this one. This is the 208 because I did get the Anastasia Beverly Hills dip route because i want to start using that to do my brows because it's just cheaper to me spend twenty dollars once instead of having to spend twenty dollars for a pencil several times and the pencil that i like is over twenty dollars so yeah you do the math and i got this brush right here which is the 212 i know a lot of people that use this brush and i had when i tried to use i had some difficulties using it so, I'm going to have to, you know, really try using this because I like this brush and I can get really sharp and really, um, yeah. Well, like sharp. I said it in the first part of this video that I was doing another, um, that I was going to place another order because I did go to my local Mac store and they didn't have all the items that I wanted. So, I just said, you know what, Ray, still get what you want. 
So I did place an online order and I got some more stuff. So let's go ahead and continue. So I did get the Universal Pencil Sharpener just because I have a MAC um, liner and chestnut. And yeah, and chestnut, I love this liner. It's everything. And basically, they sold me on the whole idea that you should use our pencil sharpeners because the pencil will last longer. So we will see. I did go ahead and pick up another 266 brush. Y'all know this is my favorite brush to do my brows with. I have two already. And sometimes the, the um, Here's my one that I use today. Sometimes this rubs off the number on them. And then they just get old. Like the hairs start to get frayed a little bit. So it's always new to, you know, get a new one upgraded a little bit. So I did. I've been obsessed with some of these glosses. So I have, I got Spice. Really pretty. I wore like peachy tones the other day and I felt like I could have, you know, rocked this with it. And as y'all can see, I've been loving some gloss, even though it's small. This one's in my purse, so this is Spite. Oh, my purse is right here. <gasps> oh yeah, here it goes. <laughs> oh no, was I saying this was pretty? Yeah, this is pretty. So this Spite. It looks like this and it's so pretty it's right here i know makeup doll talks about this color a lot and it's so pretty loving it next is Butte. Butte's. i don't really know how to pronounce it i'll scroll it across the screen this color is gorge so yeah None of y'all like you got the same kind of colors, got the same, and these I just love this. So the whole reason why I placed this order was because of Love Nectar. Um, the lady at my Mac store was like, "Oh, we don't make this no more," and I was like, "Huh? What do you mean?" You see down here, gorgeous. As you can tell, I have like mostly nude shades, but they just look good on the lips. Like I have on one right now, and they just look really, really good on the lips. So, those were the glosses that I got. And this was a sample that I picked up. And this is the My Heroin. Y'all, this smells so bad. I hate that I got that because that smells so bad. Like, it doesn't make any type of sense. Okay, my bad. I thought I had everything. So, since I got this during Labor Day, Labor Day, they had where you could get two samples. And this is the Cleanse Off. This is the other sample that I chose. And I guess this is used to take off makeup. I never use this. Like, I've never really been a MAC junkie head. So, it's like a lot of these products are like new to me. That doesn't have any smell, if you were wondering. And last one, well... The last item, this this is the last item that I just recently bought. This is the MAC Pro Long Wear Foundation in NC50. When I wore this, I really did not like it. So, it comes with a pump, unlike the Studio Fix. But yeah, I didn't, oh shit, this is coming out. Okay, my bad, I thought this was locked. I love their pumps. They these pumps are everything. Well, the foundation that's like this in the bottle, like this is so sleek. It looks so good, and the pump on here is perfect. But yeah, I didn't really like this foundation. But I had a lot going on that day, so I am gonna try to get it again. I mean, try using it again. And the last item that I will talk about will be the Mac. Ooh. Extra Dimension Skin Finish and Beaming Blush. Um, I use this as a highlighter. It is gorgeous. I actually was going to sell it to Glambot, but I used it again and I said, hold up, honey. So, this is a swatch. And this is it on my hand. Gorgeous. I have it on today. And I love it, y'all. It's so 
beautiful i've been wearing this lately and yeah like it looks like skin like i love this it looks so freaking good like i was not ready for that so yeah i love that so i don't like i said i don't know how you can get your hands on it it did come out with a collection so yeah that's all i know but um this is gonna go ahead and conclude this haul thank you so much for tuning in i hope you guys really enjoyed it and i will talk to you guys on my later